Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, I'm doing something a little different today. Or tonight, or this morning, whatever time you're watching it, I'm doing one of my favorite meals, y'all. Deep fried, not deep fried. Well, you can do them in the deep fry, but I'm going to do chicken fried quail with some white cream gravy. Y'all, this is one of my favorite meals. I know y'all probably never noticed quail in the store, but you have it in the store over there with a meat selection. ATB has them. And they pretty much debone. The only thing on this is the wings and the leg here. The breastbone is, is deboned out of these little things. And people say, what do quail taste like? It tastes like, I wouldn't say chicken. It's like, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like a cross between a chicken and a duck. Chicken and a duck is exactly what it tastes like. It has that nice dark meat of the, like the duck, but it has that flavor, juiciness of a chicken. Absolutely amazing. So I got my grease getting hot over here on the side. So what I wanna do, I wanna, we're gonna do a flour, buttermilk, flour, breading method on this. So I'm gonna put some Uncle Steve shake, sweet or spice here on here. We're gonna put some uh, buttermilk out the way. Y'all know I love my kosher salt and white pepper. And we're gonna put a little cabinets on here, y'all. Cabinets big seasoning on here. Just a little of that, sprinkle that on there. We're gonna flip them over. I'll let them sit around here and make sure you wash them. You can see all the water on there. I wash them pretty good. Turn them over here. Okay. A little more sweet or spicy on here. Salt and pepper. And a little Greek seasoning in there. Cabinet Greek seasoning on there. That's pretty much it. We can put some, uh, while we're waiting for our grease to heat up, y'all, hold on just a second. We're gonna put some, uh, just a second, y'all. Put a little granulated garlic on here, too. Just a little granulated garlic, take it to the next level there. I'll season them up really, really good. Flip them over. There we go, put a little granulated garlic on this side. All right, that's good to go. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna put them in this bag, and I wanna dust it in flour. And in here, y'all, I have a uh, chef rising flour in here. I'm going to throw it in the bag here. So we're going to do flour, buttermilk, flour. Flour, buttermilk, flour, y'all. We're going to dust them really, really good. Got my grease hitting up back there. Okay. This off here. My buttermilk in here. And I use whole buttermilk, y'all. Whole buttermilk. Make sure it's good and make sure the grease is hot here. Okay, now we're gonna throw them here in the buttermilk. Kind of let them soak down in there really, really good. Dust all the flour off, most flowers you can off of there. Alrighty. I'll let it hang out there for a second. Come on y'all, let me clean my hands here. And quail don't take long. They take about on each side, maybe two, three minutes on each side, y'all. It don't take long at all. One thing I like about quail. Okay, we're gonna push them down in this buttermilk, let that buttermilk kind of stick to it a little. That's 
hear my oil talking to me over here. So we're gonna put them back in the flour because we're gonna double flour them. Gonna double flour these bad boys. All right, take them out of there, put them back in the flour. We want a nice thick batter on them. Cause there's not a lot of meat on the quail. Quail, you know, you've seen quail. It's a little bitty bird. There's not a lot of meat on them. Okay, we're gonna shake them up one more time here. Very, very good. It's gonna be good and coated. Now we're gonna move it right over here. To my oil, my ready. We're going right in the oil here. Oil should be good and hot. Make sure they're good and dusted off here, y'all. We're going right in the flour, in the oil. Just like chicken, y'all. Chicken fried quail. Chicken fried quail, y'all. Okay, you never had quail, you need to try it. Because I've been eating quail since I was a kid. We used to go quail hunting. My dad used to bring them home by the by the bucket loads during quail season. And most country people know the delicacy of quail and how awesome and delicious it is. Some people don't. One of the best eating birds out there, y'all. A lot of people never had the opportunity to try it. So we're going to let this fry a little here, a little bit on each side. And we'll come back here, y'all, and we'll, uh, what we're going to do when this is ready, we're going to come back, take a lot of this oil out of here, and then we're going to make some gravy right into the skillet. going to make some cream gravy for them. Ain't nothing like fried, I'm telling you, chicken fried quail, and cream gravy, you don't get much better. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I just turned them over. Look how pretty these are, y'all. How pretty these quail are. Like I say, it takes about three, four minutes on each side, and the quail is ready. It don't take long at all on quail, y'all. You do not want to overcook them. When you overcook them, they get dry on you. But you can eat quail grilled. You can eat them smoked. However you want them, but this is my favorite way of eating. That's how my mom used to make them. She'd fry them in the skillet like chicken. And then uh, she makes some gravy on the side. Man, and some and some cut fries. You know them cream fries you cut with the knife? She makes them. And when my dad used to bring them, I mean, he, I'm telling you, we used to have 50, 40, 50 quail at a time. My mom, of course, would have to clean them. It's a pain in the butt to clean them. It's a little bird. You gotta make sure you get the buckshot out of them too. And you definitely don't want to bite down on the buckshot. So yeah, she makes some cream gravy, skillet gravy, and we go to town. I eat them with ketchup too. We didn't have no gravy. I eat them with ketchup. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back once these are ready. Take them out, and we'll get the gravy going. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. I'm gonna flip them over one more time. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put them on a rail rack, y'all, and let them sit in the oven while I'm while I'm uh, making the gravy. And then when we come back, these will be pretty much ready. They got about three or four minutes, but I'm gonna put them in the oven at 300 degrees, kind of let them finish cooking a little slowly there. And by the time they finish cooking, my gravy will be ready. So that's what I'm gonna do right now here. I'm gonna rack here. How pretty these quail are, y'all. This is my childhood memories right here, y'all. Childhood memories right here. Yes, sir. Childhood memories. So anyway, we're going to put them in the oven. And we'll be right back, y'all, and make the gravy. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, like I took all the grease out of there, but just a little here. Got all them yum yums as Emma was saying in the bottom. I'm gonna add some more yum yums. Somebody call the dirty flower lady and tell them to get ready. 
because we going in with some of this dirty flour that we had left over from the bread and the quail. We're gonna throw that in there, y'all. Kind of smooth that out if possible. You don't have to be, because you got already got them lumps in there. That's okay. My mom used to have these old lumps in there. A little bit more flour in there. Then we're gonna go in with some milk. Now this doesn't have to brown, y'all. I just want to cook this flour taste out just a little. Don't worry about them lumps. We're going to smooth that out here in a minute. And I don't need that much milk because they only got, what, four quail? I'm going to turn this fire up. We got all them yum-yums in there, y'all. All them yum-yums in the bottom of that skillet. That's flavor there, y'all. That's all flavor. That thing come up to a boil and that's gonna tighten up for us. Yep, that's gonna tighten up. And while that's boiling, we're gonna season it with. Y'all know I don't normally use black pepper, but I do when I make my cream gravy. And a little kosher salt here. Not much. around here you can see it's sticking it up that's what we want see that okay let that boil right here let me put this up out the way y'all see it don't take long it don't take long at all to make some gravy y'all we already know that look at that see how it's sticking it up y'all see that Give it a taste here. Make sure it's got enough seasoning. I'm pretty sure it does. Pretty sure it does, y'all. Oh, yeah. Almost definitely. See how it's thickening up? The dirty flour I put in there. I'm going to thin it down just a little, y'all. A little milk in there. Not much. You can do it as thick, as thin as you want. It's up to you, the gravy. I like a little, not too thick. I like enough where it clings to the quail. All right, y'all, we're going to let that simmer here about, let the flour taste come out about two or three minutes, and we'll be back, and we're going to plate this thing up, do the world-famous YouTube thumbnail, and we're going to try it out. I got to prove to y'all how good this is. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. We are back, back, back. Look at this here. Now, y'all, I could get some mashed potatoes with this and some peas or some corn. But I just want to kind of show y'all here. Look at that, y'all. Look at that nice plate of chicken fried quail. If I didn't tell you what it is, a lot of people probably say, oh, I don't eat quail because somebody done told them don't eat quail or somebody told me it wasn't good. I get this all the time. But then they eat it. It's like, I should get them on my job, you know. People start on the job, and especially young people. Uh, even a lot of older people, too. I don't eat quail. What is that? I don't eat that. Try it. I don't know why you don't eat it. Because they say they try it. They try it, and they hook. They I have to get them out my quail. Eat so much of it. So, yeah. So, anyway, hold on, y'all. Just a second here. There's a couple of ways I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat the fancy way. We're going to eat it the country way. Give me one second here, y'all. Y'all keep watching that. Okay. Now, let me tell y'all. I got to put some hot sauce on my stuff here. It's just like chicken, y'all. It's just like chicken. Put a little hot sauce on them. We eat this one right over here. Put a little hot sauce on them. Tell y'all. Tastes like the cross between chicken and a duck. And what I like to do, I'll take this leg off here and it'll pull off perfectly. See that? How perfectly cooked that is. It's got the little dark. Like I said, it's darkness like a uh, like a duck, but the tenderness of a of the juiciness of a chicken dipping in that gravy. Yeah, wow, that's a fancy way to eat that, y'all. See that? Mm, mm, mm. Wow, so good, y'all. So so good. 
Oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. A bit more of that gravy on there. Man, I'm gonna show you that. Fast way, I'll take it. Move this over here. Look at that now. Now, if you're in a restaurant, and a party function, that's where you eat. Take your knife and fork. Remember that breastbone's not in there. They take the breastbone out for you, so that's all pure meat. See that? Mm-mm. I'm -hmm. gonna dip it in that gravy, or whatever stuff you can want. Look at that. I like gravy when it's chicken fried. Mm. So flavorful and tender, y'all. Very tender. I tell you, if you never had chicken pie quail, try it. Yeah. Don't say, oh, I don't eat that. Expand yourself with food, y'all. I tell people, with food, try new things. At least once, if you don't like it because you don't like the taste, that's fine. Here's the thing. I don't like chocolate because I don't like the bitterness of it. I'm not a big mushroom fan. I don't like the texture or mushrooms in my mouth. It ain't nothing there, oh, I ain't tried it out of that. Food, I try at least one. Everybody have different palates. People, a lot of people don't eat food because somebody done told them it ain't no good. Try it for yourself. Expand your culinary horizon. So, anyway, y'all, let me go, and y'all, let me tell you this. Later on, I'm gonna be later on uh, in a week, I can eat all four of these quail. Every one of them. There's not a lot of meat on them. A couple of little legs or whatever. On a hungry day, I can eat all four of these quail like nothing. Mm, mm, mm. Like homemade skillet cream gravy. Mm -hmm. Fried quail. I get no better than that. But anyway, let me go to the video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. I'm the hashtag 2023, just show some kindness, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.